Today we are replacing the motor on an Ecofan Model 800. Now this procedure is valid if the back of your motor looks like this. And we can see that one wire is connected to a terminal with a red dot and the other black wire is connected to a terminal that's unmarked. For this procedure you will also require a soldering iron, some solder, and a pair of safety goggles. Now inside the motor kit you will receive an instruction manual, an Allen key, and a brand new motor. The only other piece of equipment we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. And the head of a Phillips screwdriver looks like this. Now the first step is going to be to remove the blade from the Ecofan. So we're going to use our Allen key and insert the Allen key into this tiny hole here on the blade. We turn the set screw counterclockwise to, to loosen it and now we can simply slide the blade off the shaft. Next we have to loosen the screw on the motor bracket which holds the motor in place. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver and loosen the screw and now simply slide our motor out. When we remove the motor from the Ecofan we can see that the wires are directly soldered to the back of the motor. Both wires are black but one of them is soldered to a terminal with a red dot while the other one is soldered to a terminal without any markings. So in order to identify that this black wire should go onto the positive of the next motor we need to mark it with a piece of tape. Now we're going to use our soldering iron to remove or unsolder the, the wires. And, we'll, and now we're going to take our new motor and we can see that this motor has a circuit board. But if we look closely inside that circuit board we can see that there's a red dot. So this red dot corresponds to this red dot. So what we're going to do is solder the wire with the green tape onto that terminal. And this wire gets soldered onto that terminal. Check the wires to make sure they're secure and now we can remove a piece of tape. Now we motor back into the motor bracket and we want to leave the motor sitting about a sixteenth of an inch outside of that motor bracket. Then we want to tighten that screw to secure it in place. And the last step will be to replace the blade. Now we want to make sure that the motor shaft is flush with the front of the blade. Turn the screw clockwise to tighten the blade. And now we have completed our motor replacement.